What's happening everyone? Welcome, welcome back to the Rising Room channel. This V, your host. Today I'll be replacing both tires on the Super 73R. I'm replacing them with Shrinko SR244 3.00-16. These are dual sport tires. They are four ply. They have a speed rating of 45p. I'm replacing these tires for performance purposes. The Super 73R stock tires tends to feel a little dicey when leaning into turns. So I'm hoping these shrinko, shrinkos improve in that department. They're a, little, they're a little heavier than stock. Actually, they're a lot heavier than stock. So I'm hoping I don't lose too much in the top end, if any. I'm not particularly worried about the range as everything I do on the bike is uh, pretty much in a 15 mile radius. I hope I don't lose too much in the aesthetic department as I love the way this bike look with these tires on there. It gives it a, um, a hell of a stance. Let's get started. Okay, I already have the bike flipped over. Um, I got this. I didn't loosen the. Oh, normally, I would loosen um, the screw for the display, but it's not touching the ground. I got it kind of mounted, and I have this big arm um, handlebar um, light switch on here. So I just mounted it up on some sponge. I might put it up on some more, raise it up a little more, so there's really no pressure. But okay, let's start by removing the brake caliper. Two screws. One here, and one here. Looks like it's tight. Things are tight. Okay. Put these back in. Got the brake caliper loose and hanging. So let's uh let's loosen the suspension pitch bolts. There's four of these, two on each side. So he wasn't that tight. This one. This one is tight. Hmm. On the other side. Okay, these are tight. Ugh, this one is tight. And I like to um, like to tighten and unloosen bolts kind of evenly. I kind of learned that working in auto with automotive stuff. I don't know if it's that important with a bike, but. I'll do it anyway. Okay, now for the let's loosen the these four bolts for the four clamp. Let's loosen the four clamp bolts. It's four of these also, two on each side of the fork. And these just need to be loosened, they don't need to come all the way out. I have to take this screws in. Um, the through axle bolt. This side comes off. Now I'll be using an eight millimeter Isla wrench to push the guide axle through the wheel hub. right out. I have a real good set of pliers. I have these wire cutters here and there's a nut right here on the valve stem holding the, um, the inner tube valve stem in place. So I'm using this to kind of loosen it. It looks like it's loose. Okay. Yep, got the job done. Now let the air out. Use this island to let the air out. Okay. Let's see. 
that's enough. Hmm. I gotta screw this nut up twice. <laughs> I gotta get it past the thread for the where um, the dust cap goes. Yeah, I don't have any of my um, official tire remover tools, so I'm gonna be using one of these spanners. I'm from the old school. <laughs> you might not want to scratch your rim though, so. Be careful of that. Yeah, it works just as good. Let's get the inner tool out. Get out of there. Still got a little air in there. Right off. Okay. Just tie it open I'm on the bike. That's some fun. And I like to think I'm efficient. Okay, let's do this another one. Let's see what the spoon is gonna do this time. Try to work. I'm just gonna tie the put the inner tube on this side of the rim, then I'm pulling the tire over it. Just try to stretch it over the inner tube now. So I'm valsed, I'm not. Um, tighten this down with the pliers a little. Okay. Let's reinstall the front rim. Gotta put this guide actually back through. Let's get this, this straight. That would help. I like to try to get these, get the bowls back where they came from. I have to get them back in the hole they came from. Just run this down a bit and then let's see if we could properly adjust it.
bolts is pretty much all the way back. I'm just trying to remember the position they was in. Yeah, these are pretty much all the way back. Okay, there's four of these bolts that's holding on. Now that we have the dropout bolts on loosen, let's loosen the taint tension as well. Oh, we're on this side. I'm gonna push the, tent the chain tensioner forward so I can go ahead and um, remove the, ten the chain from the chain ring. So, bolts on this side the cake stand out the way these pegs are kind of in the way but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything with those it's a good idea to note the position that your your wheel is in now I should have cut all my zip ties, but I didn't. I have this wire cutter, it's a nice one to get into nice tight places. Be careful you don't cut any of the wires here. Oh, be wise. Three um, zip ties you got to clip. Just be careful when doing that. The cable right here. One more bolt on this side. Get rid of. Should be ready to come out now. Hmm. I should have did this first, guys. I'm losing it. Should have did this first. I should have, actually I should have removed the brake caliper first. Kind of working with this verse. Washes just fell. Okay, the washer that goes under fell. I'm gonna hang out here. Safekeeping. I gotta remember that one washer goes on first, like a sandwich. Okay. Oh, I need to damage my fender. I didn't expect that. <laughs> First, we'll get rid of the valve stem dust cover. So, before let the air out. Move the valve, the valve stem dust cover. And uh, the valve stem bolt, I guess. Don't want to scratch the rim, don't want to blow that. Okay, I am. Uh, okay. That's with the front wheel. I don't have my tire remover, so I'm gonna be using my trusty spanner. Mm, just be careful not to scratch your ring. thought about it, I had a little trouble getting the front one in. So I decided not to take this inner tube fully out. 
save myself a little trouble here. See how this works out for me. Okay, the tire goes on the road pretty easy. So now, it goes on real easy. So easy, so easy that I don't even have time to show. <laughs> Just kind of popped right on. This is the fight getting the inner tube from the tire fully. I'm hoping this inner tube is not too, not too big for this tire. This is a struggle right here. Okay. okay. Once I have this side, then now I can um, go to this side. Then I can finish putting it under. So, put this one by hand as much as possible. Okay. Now, you can carefully you can scratch your room up. Just need a little work with a little air. I forget to put the um, the valve dust cover cap back on. Gotta tighten this down. I get a better I get a better set of pliers from downstairs or something. Okay, let's get the back wheel back on. The two on this side. Get the tensioner. Get the, just reinstall the tensioner. Drop our bolts tightened in. And just gotta air these ties up. And be done. Seems to be lined up. Get these drop our bolts tightened in on this side. Oh, once we do the drop our bolts, then um, we gotta do the rear caliper. Connect the uh, the horse sensor wire, the motor wire. And um, then we'll be done. <laughs> okay, um, let's get the real brake caliper installed. Yeah. Washer goes right here. And same here, we have a washer that goes here. Perfect. Perfect. If 
for this entire journey pretty pretty much five millimeter um island wrench pretty much loosens does the job okay now we just need some air See, I almost forgot to connect the motor. Connect the motor cable. That's tight. Now for the zip piece. Make sure it's away from the motor, from the um, from the wheel, the motor wheel. Make sure to cut the ends, the excess. Get it as tight as possible, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we got the air tank. I hope there's air in this tank. At least enough to get this. Mm. Mm. Just on this side of the seat. Mm. Over here. Mm. Good idea that if you could grab the, the rear brakes. When your hallways are 100 feet low, you're going to be on the outside. You want to 